Hi, I'm Gerald Main. Welcome along to today's review and we're reviewing this. And this is the <gasps> Majority Kings Internet Radio a music system. There, I've remembered it all. And there's a lot to remember because this is more than a radio, it's a music system. Let's start with the internet radio. What's that all about? Well, if you've never tried internet radio before, boy, you're in for a treat. This machine gives you the capability of listening to thousands of radio stations from all around the globe playing, well, all sorts of different kinds of music and different formats of programs from news to talk programs to phone-in programs to specialist interest programs. If you can't find something on here, you don't like radio. As I say, there are tens of thousands of different programs on the internet radio. We're going to dive into that right now. The unit's in standby, so we need to power it on. Press the button top left and it will show you whatever you've been listening to last and it will take you back to whatever it was that you were doing before you switched it off. And looks like I was playing a CD and there's the CD that I was uh, listening to, a David Bowie album, Hunky Dory. Great album. I'm going to let you just have a little bit of a listen, just a bit. Here we go. Yeah. That's all you're getting because I don't want to pay the royalties, but you get the idea. We don't want to listen to a CD. We want to listen to the internet, radio. So press the menu button and then make a selection. CD, DAB, FM, so it goes on. There's internet radio. That's what we want. Select internet radio. Again, more choices. Radio station or music. Uh, yeah, let's explore that. Well, let's go into genre. There we go. Let's press the button there and see whether we can find something that we really like the look of. And I fancy a little bit of news. So scroll through here. There's news. Let's press the button. And you can have the top 10 news stations according to the unit or by country, Australia, Argentina, Angola. What about us? Let's go back to Australia press in and we can find a variety of stations that apparently offer news in Australia. And I like the look of the one at the top. 102.9 Hot Tomato Radio. That doesn't sound like a news station to me, but let's find out. Press the button. It's connecting to the station in uh, Australia. There it is. 102.9 Hot Tomato Radio. Looks like they play music as well. So, let's so, have, oh, so hang on. I used to just go to the pub and watch it, but yeah. pow pow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have won this amazing prize. Oh, congratulations. Oh. Sounds like they're having enormous fun. Doesn't sound much like a news station to me, but that's how you would find it. 102.9 Hot Tomato Radio. <laughs> now, there's a discovery. Let's put that on the favourites. You simply press the favourite button, hold it down and it's saved on the list for you. It's as easy as that, so we can go back to it. So that's the internet radio side of things. What else? Well, there's DAB, DAB+, so you're future-proofed for your radio listening, and you can get all your local and national stations. And you've got FM as well. There's an aerial uh, there. I haven't used it, and I live in an area where the signals are rubbish, and I haven't needed to use it. What else will it do? Well, it's a music system. What does that mean? It means that you can play a variety of music and audio through the machine. Let me give you some examples. One of the most welcome for me <laughs> was being able to play a CD again. I've got hundreds, probably thousands of CDs. And it's really nice to have something again to play a CD on. They go in this top slot here, really easy. It's a bit like rediscovering old friends. So that's the CD. This is a memory stick. Now this is interesting because I've got audio, old radio programs and music stored on memory sticks and I can just pop them into that slot and they'll play, which is great. Oh yeah, and then there's the phone. Again, I've got music and all sorts of audio stored on my phone. And by using Bluetooth, which is really easy to connect, I can connect to uh, the machine and it will play the audio from my phone through 
the music system. That's really clever and really useful. However, one thing to note, if you have Bluetooth headphones, the machine won't connect to them. You have to plug in headphones, so bear that in mind. Other than that, how versatile is this? Now, I've got five tests that I use when I'm reviewing a radio or a product like this. First of all, what's it look like? Because it's going to take a place in my home. I think it looks all right. I like the sleek black lines. I like the chrome and the very modern front. I like the fact that the writing and the logos in the window uh, come up and they're in color. That's nice. Sounds like wood, looks like wood, feels like wood. I'm sure it's a plastic of some sort. What about ease of use? Well, I have used the manual from time to time. I've had this for about a week and I found the manual really useful. It's written in plain English, no gobbledygook here. So I've referred to it from time to time when I've needed and it's not been a problem. They've also included a remote, which is great. So you can have this sitting on a shelf or on a table or whatever, and you can be sitting the other side of the room and you can operate it with a remote control. I found this really useful. It's a great remote control. However, one thing to bear in mind, it doesn't come shipped with batteries. <sighs> that was really annoying when, <laughs> when it arrived because I wanted to use it straight away and had to pop down to the shops to get some batteries before I could use it. <sighs> However, the remote itself works really well. Another criterion, as far as uh, my radio tests are concerned, is what about the reputation of the company? I'm not a, a slave to brands, but I think it's really useful to know that majority have included a three-year warranty with the product. I think that shows a heck of a lot of faith and confidence on their part that this is a really good machine. A three-year warranty, you've got to register it straight away. So watch out for that. If you buy this and when you unpack it, make sure that uh, you register the product too. And finally, what about the sound? What does this thing sound like? It's really difficult to illustrate that on a YouTube video. But let me tell you, this machine has a real punch to it. It will fill a room and it's got a really loud sound to it. So if you're using it for a party, ideal. Party at home, absolutely ideal. Equally, if you want it on in the background, just playing some music while you're doing something else, it's there for you and it's got a nice warmth and you can change the tone settings. So overall, I really rate this machine. I think it looks good. The build quality is good. Majority have a good reputation. They're based in Cambridge. They build these in China. The ease of use, it takes a few days to get used to, but that's not really a problem. And the sound, I think, is versatile enough for most settings. The only tricky thing I found with this machine <laughs> is to remember the name. It is a Majority King's Internet Radio and Music system. That's the review of this one. I've also reviewed the Pembroke radio in the majority range and uh, I put a link below to uh, that and I'll also be doing a comparison between the Pembroke and the Kings so if you're weighing up which one to go for there's a video in the offing coming soon. Thanks for joining us.